It's our big story at 6. Northeast Wisconsin honoring our fallen heroes. People across the area remembering the men and women in uniform who sacrificed their lives to fight for our freedom. NBC 26's Casey Hott attended a service in Green Bay today and joins us now live at 6 with more. Casey? Stacey, hundreds turned out today for a Memorial Day program at Fort Howard Memorial Park in Green Bay. Today's touching ceremony included a special tribute to World War II veterans. Carlton Stencil, United States Navy. It was a day of remembrance for all those who gathered here. For one World War II veteran, it was a day to remember his late wife, a nurse in the Navy. I'm choking up to think of her. So. But that's war. For another, a day to honor his friends who lost their lives in the war. The two men, they were twin brothers, Johnson brothers. It's a tank we made on D-Day. Neither one survived. And I think up to my memory all the time. For Dale Rammel, Memorial Day is a day to reflect, but also to celebrate. I think of all my friends that I lost, mostly. But uh, it's nice to celebrate to be alive. They were good men. And I, I can see the eye, the eye honor them because what they did for me when I was a youngster, they backed me up. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is beautiful. And while it's a day to pay tribute to those we lost, it's also important to show our appreciation for those who are still here with us. My goal in life is to be the oldest living World War II veteran. Charles Dye will be 94 next month. Fort Howard Memorial Park has been serving the Green Bay community for over 150 years now. And organizers tell me the Memorial Day program grows with more and more paying tribute each and every year. Casey Hott, NBC 26.